see the back in the new rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. So I'm recording this on uh, uh, May the 3rd. What day is it? Wednesday. Wednesday, May the 3rd at 5 to 11 a.m. I think the uh, uh, What's the Future Past Lives comes out at 11.30 a.m. my time, which is uh, uh, 9.30 a.m. Uh, uh, in in the UK. So I'm really quite excited about it, right? I really am quite excited. It's one of the few things about Big Finish I am excited about. I kind of really made the decision while listening to the fourth Doctor's box set, which takes me a while to get to, the one with uh, Nera Shields. It's not bad at all, right? It's not bad at all. I just finished the first story, Ice Heist with uh, uh, Guy, by, by Guy Adams. And, and again, not bad at all, but Frankly, I, will my life be any better or worse for never hearing it? And and no, it wouldn't. And I've got such a massive backlog of very, very, very good Tom Baker audio, along with a massive backlog of, I mean, not backlog of, yeah, I've been collecting Big Finish from the beginning of, you know, Sylvester McCoy, Tom Baker, uh, Colin Baker, uh, Paul McGann now. And like, really, you have to uh, do something a little bit different and interesting to pull me out, pull me back in. I may well get the next full doctor box set but i think unless it's something like special something like i'm finding right really interesting i uh I'm, I'm giving it a pass right because again i got so much very good doctor who i could always listen to and like the new thing isn't always uh uh you know that that important to me right so uh uh you know so that's going on having said that this is the kind of release i would always get though you know i like I love a good uh, anniversary thing. You know, Doctor Who, I think, is always best when it's looking forward, when it's on the very, you know, cutting edge contemporaneous of society, right? That's why I think Doctor Who in the last few years has been awful, because the cutting edge contempor contemporaneous uh, entertainment has been awful, as we've seen by the ratings of people just like, uh, of everything, not just Doctor Who, but everything, people just running, screaming. And I think there's been a real effort to try and turn things around in uh, uh, in the entertainment industry because, yeah, the audiences are, ju are just leaving. But, uh, 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 yeah, as I said, this one is something that I would I would have got yeah, I would have got either way. Uh, we, again, which I'm, I I'm excited about. So I did a, a deep dive preview of it. I went over the uh, article in Vortex magazine. It's a free uh, magazine they put out from Big Finish, which is one of the things I really like. I really like Big Finish, right? I really like them. I just wish I liked their work a lot more, right? I'm really hoping I'm going to like this one. So I'm going to be doing a review of this when it comes out, uh, probably today on my live stream at, uh, as a Wednesday, at, uh, I live stream every day at 5 p.m. On the, uh, on the UK. If I don't do it, do it today, I'm going to do it, do it tomorrow. So yeah, you can ask, uh, is it going to meet my expectations? I, I think probably, right? It does sound like it's going to be quite good. Anyway, anyway, uh, I do a deep dive uh, preview of this. And I, I, I go to an insane lengths to get a video preview, right? So um, I, I broadcast uh, uh, through uh, the thing called StreamYard and you, it let, lets you play a video file into your stream, right? But not an audio file. So I couldn't find the video um, trailer for this, uh, and, and yeah, apparently there isn't one, right? It doesn't exist. I had to make it live on air. I downloaded the audio. I made the... You'll see it. Anyway, but no, you don't see me doing that, but I made it live on air so I can stop and comment on it because I think it's re you know reasonably important that we listen to the trailer before reading the article. But generally speaking... I'm very, very psyched for this series. Uh, uh, and no, you know, the, the other series I'm really enjoying are the ones that I don't feel the market is saturated. And I, I love the Stephen Noon and First Doctor. I really like what he's doing with it. I find it very, very interesting. Um, I like the Beyond the War game Second Doctor. Uh, uh, the, um, the the Third Doctor stuff with Tim Trelaw is starting to get saturated, right? I mean, I... I I'm about halfway through the first story in the Joe Jones box set, and it just didn't grab me, right? It didn't grab me at all. So hopefully that, that's going uh, to get better. Then the fourth, fifth, sixth, uh, and seventh. The, the, you need to do something better with all those ranges. Uh, uh, eighth as well. Uh, ninth. Uh, uh, for that matter, tenth, right? You, you, you've you got to do something outside the box, which this is, right? This is. So as I said, I think Doctor is best when it's on the cutting edges, but I love a good anniversary thing where you can actually look back and everything that is wonderful about Doctor Who, which is what I, I is what my expectations are, and I hope my expectations are going to be met. Anyway, uh, I can ask you to like, share, subscribe, all those things are fan freaking tastic, right? Fan freaking tastic. Thank you very much. If you can head over to Rumble and subscribe to me there, that's even better. Oh, I love a Rumble subscription. I do. What's 
Rumble, you may ask, it's the same as YouTube, uh, uh, just got a different name, essentially. And, and you can, there, there's much more freedom of speech on it without there being hate speech. I mean, oh, God. you know, I was telling a, uh, a friend of mine recently that, oh, yeah, Rumble's doing great for me. He's like, Rumble said, ah, oh, some stupid right wing thing. I'm like, oh, this guy's a big Biden voter. <laughs> you know, it's like, <laughs> the, the other few I know. But anyway, so I'm like, I say, no, look, dude, dude, say, saying that, that generally speaking, men don't have babies didn't used to be a right wing thing. <laughs> right. I think, you know, uh, uh, your Biden government must be very successful to have made it into a right wing thing. So that's the sort of thing you find. Around. People being normal. Right. I find the, 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 the choice today is between uh, uh, complete batshit craziness and normal, right? So that's what I find on, on, on Rumble. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment. Everything's in the video notes. Uh, I live stream every day, as I say, on, on uh, uh, I stream to Twitter, to YouTube, and to Rumble. Put my videos on Facebook. Uh, they're, they're, like this video is, is on Facebook, for example. Uh, I'm all over the place, baby. I'm all over the place. Fine. So as I said, this came from a preview I did last night. So let me hand over to me from last night. Finish Productions. Ah, no! It's wrong! It's all gone wrong! Doctor Who, once and future, past lives. I think it's the... Now, firstly, I like, again, I like the whole mishmash. I like the five Doctors. I like the three Doctors. It's the celebratory nature of, you know, uh, anniversary. And they're fun! Right, we like them, and they're fun. I mean, the 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 dampest squib was the was it the fortieth when they did the Greas. The Greas just really didn't work, right? Unfortunately, right. But uh, um, yeah, generally speaking, we like the mishmash. We like the the thing. I mean, I like the uh, uh, big finish up better than most for coming up with good reasons for it, right? Um. So I like the basic premise of this, the, the war doctor's degenerating. He's been hit with some degenerative weapon. So you get to hear bit, bits of all doctors as we hear, like, ah, as he, as he, and it's like, it's a very fanboy. We always wanted this, right? So he goes back through time trying to work out what's going on. This time meeting Sarah Jane and, uh, was it, uh, dreary unit. And the meddling monk, okay, which I like. I like these are all all elements other than uh, uh, the the current day unit. I like and a big dinosaur and Tower of London. Okay, all sounds good. I like Robert Valentine too. Doctor, sir. Oh, 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 help me! We have to stop it. I must fight it. I must resist. Right. First things first. What's the current situation, Doctor? Short-term memory scrambled. <laughs> Tardis bruised and reproachful. Regeneration cycle all over the place. Yeah, this, again, this is the sort of thing I'm, I'm enjoying from Big Finish. This, this strikes me of their, like, original inventiveness, right? It, uh, um, and their original inventiveness was fantastic. Uh, um <laughs> Rabbit does a final cut. No, this was premiere, baby. Too expensive final cut. Um, I say, Sarah Jane Smith, you look lost. Oh, it's you. Hello there. Doctor. Kate Lethbridge, sir. How wonderful. Hello. I'm not entirely sold on the uh, um, Sarah Jane Smith. I just kind of got used to her. Uh, she goes from better to worse. The different times, what's the name? Uh, uh, C.D. Miller. Oh. Dr. Petronella Osgood, at your service. Well, you might say I'm revisiting a past life. Doctor, how far back do you go? I'm suffering from the effects of some sort of degeneration weapon. Finally, our time has come. We've drawn attention to ourselves. Oh. On the cannons, shoot that thing out of the sky. But it basically, it sounds like each week we have a huge celebratory fun, you know, a uh, 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 Doctor Who mashup. I'm like, well, that doesn't sound bad, now does it? Is the trailer ready for the next one yet? Let's have a look. Am I going to have to make a trailer for the next one? That, that's, that's annoying, really? Really? Oh, they don't have a trailer up yet, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll preview that when we get to it. Uh, um, but yeah, 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 so they got a, a, a fight. It's coming right for us, isn't it? Yes, at quite considerable speed. Mm, perhaps we should. It's too late. 
big finish for the love of stories. See, when Tom Baker does it, it kind of works. Yeah, okay, so uh, for me, this is an exciting event, right? It me, it is an exciting event. Oh, Ezra Goldstein is here. Ezra says, yes! And I can't, yes, Rabbi, and I cannot disagree with you, sir. I cannot disagree with you. Yes, Rabbi. Uh, uh, may, may all us join together and say so. Fine, let's uh, get back to this thing. Fine, we haven't even started reading this yet. Uh, doink. Uh, can it really be 60 years since Doctor Who first, bega uh, first began on our TV television screens? It's been the 50th birthday of the three Doctors. <laughs> the five Doctors is making its 40th anniversary and Dimensional Time is now 30. Oh, don't, rem don't remind us, mate. Uh, um, what was Big Finish doing on the 30th? Did they have the license yet? I don't think they had the license yet, did they? No. No, I think they got it after the 30th. They had the license for the 40th, right? Uh, Big Finish Audio uh, Effective, unbelievably Zagress, and release number 50, is now 20 years old. Yes, uh, Light the End is a, is a decade old. That's great. Uh, um, I love Light the End, right? It's what, that's, what, that's, a, that's an all-time classic. It's, again, I like these mashups. People just do. They do them sparingly. Like once every 10 years, we're fine. Uh, that's why I always felt the two Doctors felt a bit out, out of place. So Bigfoot's contribution, Doctor Who's Diamond Anniversary Celebration, gets underway next month, tomorrow! Coming out tomorrow! Uh, I'll do a spot review tomorrow, right? Uh, uh, once in future, a special eight-part series begins with one story released each month between now and October, uh, with the concluding final episode following 2024, obviously because it ties somewhat into the new era. As we know, uh, marking special occasions and a racing celebration takes a long time. Producer David Ritter started thinking about this milestone four years ago. To make an anniversary, um, sorry, to make an anniversary story uh, unique, it needs to uh, it needs a special hook. And once in future, uh, this was here. Look, Dave, I had to tell you. Now for the uh, for everything needs a special hook, right? First, Doctor has new uh, uh, Stephen Noonan, which I. I, I I'm enjoying his new creativity, right? His new... The uh, second Doctor has, also has a newness about it with... Uh, uh, what's the name? The Beyond the War games with uh, Patrick Trouton's son, whatever his name is. Not David Trouton. The other one. My Michael Trouton, maybe. I don't know, whoever it is. Uh, Tim Trelaw's third Doctor's starting to need more of a hook. It's running out of steam now, right? Uh, fourth Doctor needs a hook. It's run out of steam the last really good start thing I think they did was something with the hook, which was the uh, uh, the sequel to Dalek Master Plan with uh, what's the name the uh, uh, the companion for like two box sets. That was fat. That was great. That had a hook, but you need you need yeah you everything needs a hook, right? Fifth Doctor, Sixth Doctor, Seventh Doctor, they all need hooks, right? Uh, um, Fine. To make an Anister anniversary unique to if I'm... Uh, uh, so he tells all the I've been talking back through the correspondence when this... Uh, with, uh, 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 to find when this uh, first gem of an anniversary series came to mind. It was 2019. I emailed Jason Hay Gallery and Nicholas Briggs saying, the sixth anniversary will be here before you know it. It's four years away, but we all need to uh, time to make something uh, huge and special. I pitched them the idea of Doctor being injured during the Time War and his body degenerating, flipping back through previous incarnations. Yeah, brilliant. Well, that works perfectly. Yeah. Top marks, mate. Top marks. Um, uh, I felt with uh, numerous multi-doctor stories already under our belt, uh, it wouldn't be very special to do just uh, uh, just a straight multi-doctor story. We needed a different approach, uh, but still include uh, many incarnations of the Doctor. Smart on. I agree completely. Yeah, pushing forward, right? You need a hook for everything, mate. You do. Uh, uh, even Eccleston stuff, you need a hook. The, the, the hook was Christopher Eccleston. Ran out of steam now. Uh, things have evolved as time has passed, including the chance to use two doctors from... There you go. <laughs> Hello, Tom. Looks a bit shocked. 
I say you're talking about from the 21st century. Uh, Day Resident, uh, for a long time, uh, for a long time, this was going to be a six uh, release miniseries, and it grew where when more doctors joined Big Finish. Uh, who could have dreamt that would be get both David Eckerson and David Tennant in our 60th anniversary special? That is actually very cool, right? Once a few sir, had had a long gestation period, but the recording and the recording time spanned the whole of COVID 19 pandemic. The first session was conducted remotely at the height of lockdown. And then we moved into hybrid uh, recordings as things opened up. And by the very end of the recording, which uh, happened at the first of every 2023, it was an entirely studio fair. Man, that was so weird. COVID, wasn't it? It was just, it was just weird. Yeah. I'm kind of, kind of, we're starting to kind of like forget about it now, recede into the background. I mean, the world's destroyed from it, but uh, uh, that was just weird, mate. <laughs> uh, script editor the Matt Fit. Oh, the, um, the, the, it's been a really massive uh, story uh, to put together with a backdrop of uh, major world events. I do hope the listeners enjoy it. Me too. I mean, it really is. That's the, this is my biggest hope right now. By the way, speaking of our last best hope, uh, uh, um, that Babylon Five announcement should be coming out any day now. I hope. I hope it, it happens. Right. I hope that'll be uh, with the. the they're talking about there being a Babylon 5. Well, I'm talking about there being a Babylon 5 uh, like HD or 4K release with new effects. That will be fantastic. Again, I would love a streaming service to do that, right? That will be fantastic. Uh, David had this idea where the Doctor somehow... Uh, uh, with a, blah, 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 blah. Uh, skip. Matt Vin says uh, tells Walter, as David says, our... Chats about Once and Future began in 2019. We had the idea uh, 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 that he had the first thoughts about what Big Finish could do in the 60th. David had this idea that Doctor is somehow slipping between bodies during the, uh, the course of these adventures, and so we set up that mystery. Writer Robert Valentine kicks things off with past lives. I know he pissed people off with his uh, H.P. Lovecraft thing. I do think. The uh, uh, the heavy handedness was in, was false upon the, the release by uh, 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 the license owner is my guess. Um, with a uh, past life in which was set in the midst of the time war, the Doctor. I do hope we be here. We hear a bit about the War Doctor. The Doctor. Where is the Doctor? Where is it? Something back. I missed a line. The Doctor. Uh, is found on the battlefield. He manages to get to the TARDIS, setting off uh, to find what happened to him. The Doctor has been injured, and he's brought to a Time Lord field hospital. His body glows with regeneration, but there's no regeneration into a future form. Instead, the Doctor's past faces begins to uh, appear as he flits haphazardly between incarnations. Staggering to uh, his TARDIS, the Doctor is set to resolve the mystery of his degeneration. I mean, like, really? Uh, 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 one would hope they could get uh, uh, Jonathan Carey. Was it not? What's his name? John Carey? Julian Carey? No, Julian Carey's. I don't know. But the, you, you would have thought. You would have thought they should be able to get him. Yeah, you know, relatively easily. <laughs> so as they created his career for it. All right. Yeah. You know, what well, one would have thought. Um. Who has uh, who has done uh, uh, who has done this to him? Who, uh, how and why? And from uh, from the stars to Earth, across an array of familiar places, places and time, he follows the clues, he chases his steps, he counters old friends uh, and enemies along the way, tumbling through his lives. The Doctor must stop his degeneration before he loses himself completely. Ah, I'm lost. Uh, Rob said it's incredibly exciting to be kicking off the sixth anniversary celebration from Big Finish and the world. Actually, this is the first thing, right? And in the wider context of uh, Doctor, Who, uh, Doctor Who's Diamond Jubilee, the party begins here. Yeah! I mean, it better be good, mate. Better be good, because uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's not like the old days at Big Finish, where you would just ev you'll get everything, because they're all great. Now it's uh, uh, much more selective, I would say. Uh, we find the Doctor in the most chaotic situation imaginable. He's been blasted by some sort of degeneration weapon. How, meanwhile, the meddling monk has a prize on his head and Sarah Jane Smith gets kidnapped and Kate Lethman-Stewart and Osgood are being 
menaced by a belligerent ace with plans to revive their glory days. Glory days. Um, in this event, you'll get to revisit one or two familiar locations uh, from the Doctor's past. Uh, right up on Tom Baker's Hall Doctor is the most fun I've ever had on Doctor Who, I can imagine. Oh, yeah, no, that sounds glorious, right? That sounds really, really fun. You know, that does sound good. Um, having him uh, reunite with Sarah Jane and meeting the 21st Century Unit team was a delight. I mean, I always prefer the, th uh, the third Doctor to meet them. Or just, I don't know, anybody else. Uh, uh, and if you're a fan of... What? Well, fan of what? Oh, there we go. If you're a fan of the monk played by Rufus Hound, I am. He's up to a lot of no good in this one. I mean, look, you put Rufus Hound meddling monk in pretty much anything. It's it's very good. I mean, he was great in the Stephen Noonan first one he did. Uh, uh, that really worked. Uh, Matt adds, this is 4-1 celebration of 60 years of Doctor Who throwing together friends, companions, enemies. In a, I mean, I, the, the other good thing about this is it's not like the Night of the Five Doctors, which is a 90-minute story. This is going to be, what, an eight-hour story? Right, you have a lot of room. See, I like this. This is much more, you know, current story, uh, current day storytelling, where you get like, you know, a, an event that plays out over eight hours. Right, uh, uh, that's what we're going to be talking about. Citadel next. That's essentially what it is. I was, te I was telling my wife that she's going to check it out, and I said, "Oh, there's only two episodes out." So far. it says, "Oh, let me know when it's done, so she can binge it all in one go." Right? It's it. The, yeah, the, the people like these eight hour events. Right. So I think that I. This kind of storytelling really leans into uh, what Doctor Who's doing. Actually, we'll look at this clip of uh, Rusty Davis next, which we'll, uh, uh, talks about st st stuff I'm excited about. Uh, it's lovely to make these connections. And, of course, we have a classic unit representation with Sarah Jane Smith uh, trying it, uh, tying in with a uh, modern unit. Uh, that's always fun. I forgot she started with the unit, right? I, forgot, I totally forgot about that. Uh, I thought she was investigating unit, wasn't she? Like, how did that happen? She, um, she was like an investigative reporter, and she got swept up in the, in the TARDIS and ended up with uh, uh, the uh, the Sontarans. Is that why? Something, something along those lines. Um, uh, we're only uh, we're only at the beginning of the adventures, and we're starting to figure out what's going on uh, and the many secrets. Rogan and Past Lives is very much an opening chapter into the. Once in the future saga, it kicks off uh, the mystery of who or what is behind the Doctor's predicament. Fortunately, uh, because I script edited the climactic story uh, uh, in in the sequence, I know where it's all leading, and it was a big help when writing this one. All I can say is, uh, really, is it's as big as Big Finish gets. That's exciting, right? That is exciting. Um, so I believe that's out on May 3rd, right? So if I clip this this bit out, that means out now, right? <laughs> okay, big finish. So don't give it, don't pay me off, right? They don't. They, they. I don't. I think I'm on a BBC blacklist, right? So they can't. They. they I, I talk to people occasionally, and I can't say who, or what, or where. But uh, 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 and they were friendly, but they can't come on. A lot more people would come on my channel if I wasn't on. I think the BBC blacklist. Of undesirable turfs, whatever they call us. My name's Ela Beck, and you rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah.